Hello my friends and welcome. My name is Dennis and as you probably know I'm the airline captain. Let me explain you the principle of the jet engine operation based on this IE25 engine. Let's go. Pum, pum. This engine is quite small so it will be very comfortable for me to explain you everything especially then the skin of this engine was cut. So here's the entry of the air. As you can see here we have the fixed blade that directs the airflow into the N1 rotation spool. So we have the N1 compressor part. Here we have one, two, three, three stages of the compressor and the air goes inside the other stage. Here we have the fixed blades and also rotating blades. The air compressed here. So we have the first stage of compression. Then let's go to other stage where the air compressed even more. But some part of this compressed air from the first stage goes here between the engine skin and N2 spool skin. So that is why we call this type of engines the bypass engines. On turbofan engines, here we have the first stage is actually the fan and it creates the 80% of all the engine thrust so the air bypasses the N2 stage and just goes through this core so this core here is where it developed on turbofan engines that make this engines more efficient compared to these old types of the engines but here you just save the size okay here you, the most of the thrust produced in N2 of course the fuel consumption for this type of engines with small bypass ratio is very high but you need less space to put it on airplane somewhere in the high pressure compressor the air compresses very hard as you can see it's XL type of the compressor by the way here is also the XL type of the compressor so these type of the compressors are very effective to compress the air hard and then this compressed air goes into this kind of combustion chamber this is annular type of the combustion chamber where the ignition process is ongoing the burning process is ongoing so here's the fuel line as you may see the fuel nozzle and then we have some of the spark plugs somewhere here and the air together with the fuel they just burn here and this burn air just extends and hits the turbine section so here we have just one turbine for all of these compressor stages this is the high pressure compressor and then the air goes through the other two stages of turbine and that two stages actually rotate this N1 compressor so here is where the air actually performs all its duties performs the job it rotates the compressor it rotates everything to make this rust and here the air just expands from this exhaust nozzle very easy and i think it was very understandable and it doesn't matter on engine size so here you can see the big engine the d18t that installed on ruslan maria etc the principle is the same as on this small apu engine here you can see the compressor the combustion chamber the turbine everything my friends is same pam pam